Hello again, everyone. Let's start a new game. This time we're going to play the uh, Xeon campaign of Mobile Suit Gundam Federation vs. Xeon. Do new. Prince Paul of Xeon. And of course, I'll use my usual name. A half century has passed since Earth began moving its burgeoning population into gigantic orbiting space colonies. A new home for mankind, where people are born and raised and die. It is the year 0079 of the Universal Century. The cluster of colonies furthest from the Earth, Side 3, proclaimed itself the Principality of Xeon and launched a war of independence against the Earth Federation. Initial fighting lasted over one month, and half the human population was lost. People were horrified by the atrocities that had been committed in the name of independence. Eight months had passed since the rebellion began. They were at a stalemate. With half of the population dead, both the Federation and Xeon had lost most of their military forces, and innocent youths were left to fight the war. Unable to gain a decisive victory in its initial battle, the Principality of Xeon lowered mobile suits to Earth to take control over mining territories to secure the vital natural resources for a long war ahead. The Federation's counteroffensive against these Xeon strongholds is about to begin. Enter Ace Pilot Ald. Woohoo! Relaying orders from the Xeon homeland. Engage in battle at various sites independently against Federation mobile suits and collect data. Select an operation area. Okay, so we've got basically the same uh, setup as uh, before. Difficulty very easy. Combat practice. This is a combat test against mobile suits using a Zaku 1. Destroy targets with machine gun in close combat. Avoid attacks by sidestepping. Eight targets destroyed for mission completion. Mission failure own mobile suit destroyed. And special conditions launch with standby Zaku 1. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. See if we can get a uh, really good uh, um, rank at the end. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, so you're next. You want some of this too? Ooh! Ow! Shoot! Well, there goes my uh, chance at good new type rank. Ow! Like I said, there goes my chance at good new type rank. All right. In other words, don't be overly aggressive. Stop moving! Stop moving so I can hit you, thank you. Ooh, you got a bazooka. And I destroyed your shot. Okay, three left. go. Zaku-1 is an outdated mobile suit by this point in the uh, One Year War, but uh, so that makes it a good uh, test unit for trainees. And it's really, it's not even a, a, at a GM level, really isn't. Um, the GM is far superior. Ah, there we go. Mission complete. Ooh! Let's have an archaeological dig. <laughs> oh, well, I got a new type rank D. I guess that's better than nothing. Well, I was really hoping for something more. Oh, well. Okay, we've got uh, 
ambush enemy ground force in transit. Be careful, battleship cannons and attack from its blind spot. I think we'll go ahead and do this one. Take a Zaku one. Alright. First things first, though. Let's take out these tanks. Shoot! They're shooting at me. Not good. I didn't want them to shoot at me. So again, I was hoping for a good new type rank. These early missions are some of the easiest missions to get reasonable new type ranks. Actually, I might fail if that one gets over. Oh, crap. Ah, crap. Those uh, planes are fly man- Ooh, I think I destroyed them. Nice. Planes are fly mantas. Um, I would like to destroy some of those, but uh, again, kind of busy shooting at the... Uh, Big tray here. Which luckily seems to be. Oh! But it's a uh, turret. Come on! There we go. Mission completion. Alright, how are we gonna do on uh, new type rank? Somehow I suspect not very well. 18 units defeated, 87% accuracy, 82% evade rate. New type rank D. I'll take that. One aircraft, one gun turret, one battleship, 15 tanks. Nice. Received a prototype Zaku 2. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, so it's a slightly it's slightly more powerful than the Zaku 1. It's sort of the equivalent, I mean, really the, uh, um, in this version of the game, that's basically the equivalent of having, uh, the ground GM and the ground Gundam. Although they're not as powerful. Okay. Attack enemy fleet. Mission completion. Enemy battle strength is zero. Mission failure. Own mobile suit destroyed. Special conditions. Allied mobile suit on standby. Attack the enemy fleet in orbit. Destroy the enemy battleship. Okay. I think I can do that. Let's go ahead and, uh, um... Wait. I thought I got a bazooka already. Guess not. Okay. Take the Zaku 2, and my ally can be the already damaged Zaku 1. That's fine. I don't care. Okay. This is another mission that I should hopefully be able to get a pretty good new type rank. Don't know why I'm getting slow down. This is very, very strange. There we go. Alright. I'm getting close, so it should be good. Got it. Tracker grenades are pretty good against ships, so. Let's check out the Solomus. There we go. And Next up is just coming in. It's kind of funny how they come in pretty quickly and then kind of slow down. Okay, there we go. Now let's go for the Solomus. Might be the last one. Nope, nope. There's just one more that we got to destroy. What's next? Solomus. Come on, Solomus. I love Solomus. Although I like the uh, Solomus Kai from Zeta Gundam, and pretty much every later Gundam you see get series. Yay, mission complete. I took no damage. That's pretty awesome. Let's see how my accuracy was. 
Come on. Ooh, 92%. B. Ah, oh, bastards. Ah. Uh, see, if I had had rocket launcher, if I had had the bazooka, I would have gotten... I probably would have gotten 100% uh, on both. And that's probably why they didn't give it to you. All right, so we've got this mission here, and we've got this... Uh, we've got something down here. Let's see what we've got. I'll uh, probably do this one. Ground combat mobile suit test. Mission completion. Ten tar targets destroyed. We want you to be the test pilot of, in the testing of the ground combat mobile suit GUF currently under development. The targets in this combat test are Zaku 1 and 2. Test the power of the proximal weapon, Heat Rod. Ooh, let's do that. A one star GUF, yes. I'll take that out. I shall play with that. Ooh, that's nice and powerful. Whee! The Goof is a close combat mobile suit. So, you see, its main weapon, well, I mean, it, it's got... It's got a gun in its hand, but it's not all that powerful, machine gun. The sub-weapon, the, uh, um... That, the heat rod right there, really powerful. Great for taking out buildings, um, named mobile suits, and, uh, um... Spaceships. Or ships, I should say. Battleships, I should say. Although there aren't that many on the ground. No! Damn it! Yeah, there we go. Got you. Alright, who's next? One. <laughs> Surprise heat rod! There we go. See, like I said, great for taking out buildings. Damn it. Ah, mission complete. <laughs> Unfortunately, probably no new type rank for this mission. But, we'll see. Okay, units defeated 10. Accuracy is only 69%, evade rate is only 80%. So yeah, no new type rank. Shucks. Oh well. Received a Zaku-1 mobile suit. It no longer is the mainstay of our forces, but it is still in active duty. Received a new model GUF mobile suit. It is a unit only for ground combat, developed for close combat. Woohoo! Let's go ahead and uh, quickly save. Okay. An allied unit that infiltrated Side 7 to scout the Federation's V project is under fire from a mobile suit pro mobile suit type weapon. Rescue the allied unit. The enemy's battle strength is unknown. Be careful. Rescue Allied Mobile Suit. Mission completion, Allied Zaku 2, leave operation area. Mission failure, Allied Zaku 2 is destroyed. Own Mobile Suit is destroyed. Allied Mobile Suit on standby. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we've got a one-star goof. All right, right off the bat, it's one star. That's pretty nice. And we've got a one-star Zaku 1, but this is a really easy mission, so we're just going to take Zaku 1s. Uh, I'm going to take the bazooka, and I guess I'll give my uh, companion a machine gun. I mean, it says it's a hard mission, but it really isn't. I mean, you're protecting a, a Zaku 2, and anytime you're protecting a... 
a unit, they're really... They've got a ton of armor. A ton more armor than they really, you know, theoretically should. Okay, so we're up against a gun cannon. Let's throw a cracker grenade, see how that goes. Whoa, dodge. Nice dodge there. Okay. Oh, the grenade took out my uh, shot. That was not nice. My accuracy's. Go oh, Zaku 2 got away. Damn it, and I didn't get to take out the um, gun tank. Why didn't you stay longer, bastard? <laughs> My accuracy is terrible. Wow. Oh, sad. Received a new bazooka weapon for the Zaku 2. Yes! Excellent. We've confirmed that the purpose of the Federation's V Project is to develop mobile suits, scout the V Project with allied unit, and gather as much data as possible in the allotted time. If possible, destroy the new mobile suit. The specs of the enemy mobile suit are unknown. Be careful. V Project Reconnaissance. Okay, so this is a timed mission, so let's go ahead and um, take our goof. Since it does list it as a very hard mission. And we get another one of the uh, launch sequence animations. Always annoys me how slow they walk out of this thing, though. Let's see, where do we come down? Oh, I see something right over there. Okay, one down. Two down. Amazing! It has five Fortunately, we can't times target Gundam just yet. Now we can, but we don't really want to. We can, but we've only got 25 seconds to even try and defeat him. So, we're not going to do that. Oh, and my ally goes down. All he has... Oh, we got another ally coming in, though. That's always nice. <laughs> that didn't take him long. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... All he's got is the uh, Vulcan cannons and a beam saber, so uh, just play keep away. Whee! Mission complete. <laughs> I bet I lost, like, three allies. Maybe four. That's pretty bad. My accuracy is only 60%. Evade rate, 100%. Ha ha ha. Ally units lost three. Wow. I, know. I only got one of those? Oh, bastards. Message from Rear Admiral Cassilia Zabi. Oh, hey, Cassilia. This is Cassilia. Rather good work. I will remember it. Yeah, you better. I will be awesome. Alright, so then we got Belfast base. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll end the episode. Attack the Federation base. Destroy the base's defenses. The enemy lock-on sign will alert you to the direction of enemy attack. Pay attention to it. Destroy enemy units. Mission completion. Enemy battle strength is zero. Own mobile suit destroyed. Allied mobile suit on standby. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, use uh, um, Zaku ones. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. So, let's keep you on backup. Oh, GMGs. So, looks like the Federation is uh, really lo rolling out their mobile suits now. And I've heard people call these mass production GMs and mass production Gundams, but technically they're pre-mass production. They're basically all hand-built um, or semi-assembly line 
Uh, many of them use uh, uh, spare parts from the V Project and stuff like that. Although, considering how many you see in this game... Now, I mean, obviously you see a heck of a lot more in this game than were accurate according to the show mode. But, uh, oh, stop moving. There we go. And for the most part, these uh, units were uh, mostly uh, um... BAM! <laughs> oh! You hit me, jerk. Got you. Thank you for going after my ally. I appreciate that. I like the Zaku Bazooka. It's a pretty cool bazooka. Whoa! Let's go up to the chair. Alright, now we'll go up and jump. I'm gonna miss you. Go! Oh. oh, you got him. I wanted the kill. Oh well. Can't win them all. Chris, you ally. I have... I didn't get hit by the enemy at all! The Federation has succeeded in developing and mass producing and producing mobile suits and sending them to the battlefront. Battles are predicted to intensify. Okay, so we've got a number of missions now, but uh, we'll do them in the next episode. See you then!